Okay, so in this video, I'm just going to quickly cover how you would copy an area, arrange, create a snip, like a photo, and then have that photo in your clipboard. And have a button so that you can um, select and copy this range and add it to the clipboard uh, on demand. I guess this would be more for a, a repetitive process. So in the past, what I've had to do is, as an accountant actually, I've had to give snips, and I was using a Windows computer, I would use the snipping tool to give snips of certain reports, and I think that's the first time I, I did some like automated process like this. Recently I had to give an update of a graph and what I did was I automated it in the exact way that I'm going to show you here in uh, Excel for Mac. So this is specific for Excel for Mac. If you do this the way I do this in Windows, you might have a small error because you might have to edit the code to get it to work. Uh, but I'm going to show you as I would do this in a Mac how I would do it. So let's just say you have some data. I'm just going to put data here. So I have some data. So what I want to do is copy this as a photo. And I can do that by pasting special. Paste picture. And so that's a picture. Cut. So I, I want the I want to create a macro that does this and allows me to paste this snip whenever I want. So I'm going to do that by creating a button. To be able to create a button, what you need to do is uh, have the developer tab to add a command button. So you just go here, go into this main tab section and click this, save. I'm going to click out of here to the developer tab. Where do I want this button to show? About here in the upper left hand corner. You click the button, click right there. It has a default name. I'm gonna call this, I'm just gonna call this snip, snip data. Here I'm gonna record the macro. I could make a shortcut key, but I'm not going to. I could add a description as well, but I'm just gonna get right into the recording. Okay, so you can tell this is recording because you have a, a stop button down there. And I'll, I'll click that whenever I'm done. I'm going to copy. And I want to paste it here. Paste special as a photo. And then I'm going to cut that. And so I'll have that on my clipboard and then I think the last time I created one of these, it was, I had to actually update the data in a messaging app. I'm going to stop this recording. So now every time I click the button, I always have that photo and I'm pressing command V to paste. And just to prove that it works, let me change the data. sevens here and then I want it to show up in this cell paste and there you go just the way if you need to automate any type of reports anything that's in the range should actually copy too so if there's a photo in the range it, that should copy as well so I, I want to test that and then Let's see about editing the range. Let me put a photo. Uh, insert. File. Just choose. No, I don't want to choose. A 
let's just grab another video. Let's just say I have this. I want it to show up in the range. And so the new range, I'm gonna have it go from D4 to I20. So in the macro code, it's it's only selecting this range D4 to D7. So we can change that without having to record another macro. We just have to go either to view or developer tab. You can go to view, view macros, click on the macro that you want to edit, click the edit button. So see D4 to D7. So if I make this I20, it should pick up the photo in that range. This is really irrelevant because we're we're cutting it, but um, let's say that you don't want the photo to be cut. You want it to be shown in a certain cell. So you can actually take this part of the code out. So I should copy this whole thing and it should put it in cell G17. Well, I put it in the range, but that's okay. Uh, so let's see what happens. Oh, there it is. So, and it did take the photo that I put in the range. So there's a lot of different, different things you can do, different ways you can uh, reformat the code. Uh, to work to your advantage which, or however you want to use it um, so yeah I hope you like this video I'll make the same video using Windows eventually and I think uh, maybe I'll add a different variation maybe how to take a snip from a closed worksheet maybe from another open worksheet something like that so thanks for watching.